Hi everyone, Vicki Verley here, Rock and Roll Prophetess. Thanks for joining me for the March of 2017 Terrascope with Animal Totem reading, free readings for YouTube. As always, we're going to use the My Deck, the Rock and Roll Tarot Deck for the Tarot readings. Then we're going to pull one card from the Beast Mistress Oracle cards, also My Deck, uh, for each sign of the zodiac. Check out my site, you can find out how to get the decks and the books. If you're into uh, love readings, and this month I'm going to be on Vimeo, I do Vimeo love readings specifically every month. For March, I'm using the Hanson Roberts deck, which many of you remember used to be my main deck that I always use in the videos, and I know a lot of you this was a favorite deck. Uh, and where people didn't like it when it went away, some didn't. But um, I'm using the Rock and Roll Tarot deck for, all the time. I use a smaller deck on there because I lay out a lot of cards for those love readings, and I give it, um, you know, I give it a lot of it's from two perspective, and it's a lot more. I need a lot more space and a lot more room. It's two dollars and some change. Head over to Vimeo. In the meantime, we're going to do the March free readings on YouTube. Are coming up next after a brief message on how my readings work. If you want to know how my readings work, go ahead and skip ahead. I look forward to doing your reading for March. First of all, I want you to take time to gaze upon each card. There are messages in the image and text. Pause the video if you have to, because the words will shift and change to reveal a message that is just for you. This is Empowerment Tarot. I'm not here to tell you how to lead your life, and no one should. Trust your own intuition and allow your guides and angels to speak directly to you. If this reading does not resonate with you, be sure to check your rising and moon sign for further insights and illuminations. Finally, as to the court cards, which represent the people in the spread. Because this is a general reading for so many people, the court cards will not be gender specific. So even though I may refer to a queen as a female, as she is represented on the card, it really could be anybody in these general readings. So now without further ado, on to... Hi there, Gemini. I'm oh, not Gemini. I'm sorry. I know you're Taurus. We're doing Taurus. Hello, Taurus. Let's get right into your March of 2017 reading for Taurus. What is going on for Taurus in March of 2017? Taurus. What is going on for Taurus in March of 2017? I think that might have came out first, then this one. Taurus. Taurus. Wow, one more. Okay. Well, you got some nice cards, too. Um, looks like money's going to be really great. Money's right on here for you. You got the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. Gemini I had that too. I'm actually working backwards. Hey, oh, the cat's like wanting to chew on the cord. I hope it's not messing. You're gonna have to get out of here, cat. Come on, no chewing on the cord. Beat it. Psst. Come on, get down. Sorry about that. He was chewing on the cord, which could, might make the camera. Well, it might electrocute him too. <laughs> but I don't want the. Don't mess up the video. <laughs> Anyways, today, let's get into this reading for you guys. You have the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. That's some nice money. There's definitely some big money coming in for you this month. Well, your finances are really rocking. They're really right on here. I can't help but notice that the Nine of Pentacles is right next to the Justice card. So, justice almost always involves legal matters. So, if you have a court case pending, you could get some nice uh, rewards. You know, a nice. You could be awarded a nice sum of money. Um, and the Emperor's over here too. When these three cards show together, this could be the, the the legal case is settled. The Emperor could be the judge that rules in your favor. And the Nine of Pentacles is the money. You're getting the money. Uh, but it could also be uh, getting some kind of new job or uh, money opportunity that um, involves legal things. Maybe you're going to do... These two together too can be contract work for sure. Independent contractor. Maybe you're going to sign up for a really nice contract work for a while. Um, maybe you're going to get a job that require... The, the job itself um, involves signing of contracts or legal papers all the time or government, you know, things like that. Um, maybe you're going to get a nice tax return. It could be through the government like this too. Whatever the case, it looks very, very favorable. You do have the Six of Cups over here. That was that first card out. So Six of Cups always has ties to the past. It could be your own childhood, your own past. It always brings happiness that comes from the past. Um, it can be, um, 
your own past, your own childhood. This could have been some long-standing thing, though. That's what I'm feeling. For some of you, if this is like some kind of court case, this could have been going on for years, maybe six years even, six months, six years, long time. And then all of a sudden, you know, it comes around and bam, you know, you got, you got it. You got it, no matter what it is. Six of Cups also could have to do with your own children if you do have them. You know, maybe this is something, maybe some of you are suing over child support, you know, or something like that, and you're going to get a nice, maybe you're going to get your ex's income tax or something, and people, that happens too. Get strength in the middle, so let's have strength, have patience. So it says that things are going to, you know, evolve. Um, you have the Nine of Swords over here. So that's why, for a lot of you, this could be some kind of court case. Whatever this Nine of Swords is, it's saying justice will be done. So whatever you were upset about or hurt over or whatever you've been done wrong in some way, justice will be done. Things will turn around and go in your favor. It'll be, you're going to have your vengeance or your retribution might be a better word than vengeance. Retribution. Uh, strength, though, is like you're coming from a position of strength. With strength, and you've got the nine and ten of pentacles on either side of it like this, lining up. You're coming from a place of strength. You're going to be in a nice, you know, there's money here for sure. Now let's look at the ten of pentacles. This is the highest money card in the deck. You have the two highest money cards in the deck. You've got this page of cups, so this offer. Somebody's making you an offer. And it certainly looks like it's this uh, king of pentacles, or king of cups over here. So King of Cups might be water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces. This might be showing up in the time of water. And water time is, we're going to be in water for almost the whole month. We're in water until the 20th when we move into the sign of Aries. So this could be like in the first few weeks of the month. Or maybe this person just is a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, Pisces. And they're, it feels like they're making this offer that brings this money in. I said this for somebody else too, this could be a two-fold. Maybe you get this money here, and then you reinvest it, and this guy is some kind of reinvestment thing or something like that, but, you know, or it, it uh, oh, excuse me, uh, this says ten of pentacles, but I thought it said tenor, of all things, like a singer, like a male singer, you know, a high voice in the choir, a tenor. So, who knows? What's that famous dude, the tenor? I keep wanting to say Pavarotti. Is that him? Is he even still alive? Yeah, so well, maybe it has something to do with that. Opera, even, or who knows. Um, or tenure. Maybe it's tenure. If some of you are in a position where you might be offered tenure. Although it says tenor to me. That looked like tenor, like the singing voice of the tenor. Maybe you're going to be a patron of the arts. Maybe you're going to... Um, you know, take some of this money and invest it. In the, because the, then I, the Pentecost, this dude here, the King of Cups, he's often creative too. The King of Cups is a very creative spirit, spiritual person, can be. He's not really all about the money. So maybe you're going to, um, you know, invest or start a business that is, um, you know, be a patron of the arts, or that is uh, supportive of the arts, or is a theater group, or, you know, who knows, something like that. But it looks like you're going to have plenty of money to do it, and, I w and virtuosos on here, too. So, some of you, this might have to do with some kind of orchestral, or, um, you know, like that, some kind of orchestra, you know, uh, you know, the tenor, the virtuoso, Performing arts, you know, musical, musical performances, things like that, choirs, orchestras. Maybe it's even your kid's choir orchestra. Maybe you're going to help out and get them, uh, get them some new instruments or, you know, do something like that. It could be just anything. But it's not like it puts you out. This is, you're excited about this. This is exciting and this is, um, maybe you're already involved in that and this is a wealthy investor who you get to come on board and throw some money in there for, you know, towards these causes that you're interested in. Maybe you're just um, drawing in investors, and this person is one of the investors. But boy, does money look right on for you this month, Taurus. looks really, really sweet. Uh, so this is more towards money. If you want to find out about love, be sure to check out the Lots of Love on Vimeo. I am using um, the, our old favorite deck here, the uh, Hanson Roberts that everybody was, likes when I used to use them for the regular readings. I, use, I change it up. I use a different deck every month. Here's your card. 
But this month I'm using Hanson Roberts. But here's your card. It's the cheetah. Prolific creator, I know, is one of the things on here, huh? Yep, empath, healer, prolific creator. Things happening at lightning speed. Staying alert to synchronistic signs. The path of the soul practitioner. Well, this is the path of the soul practitioner here. She's uh, independent financially. She's A lot of times that's your own business and stuff like that. But that prolific creator, that's really got me. You know, that really pulled me in, and I remembered that for this card. And it's part of it, you know. There does seem to be. Well, if nothing else, you're prolifically creating more and more money, you know. It's, you got, it's like you got the money tree going on here. But it's it's all good. It's very it's very favorable. It's very positive. Okay, Taurus. Um, if you want to know more about the animal totems, you know, feel free to look that up on your own. If you go in the upper right hand corner, I'll take you to my website, and I have links below. There you can find out everything you want to know. How to get a reading. How to um, find out my decks and my books, which are not just coloring books. They're um, spiritual growth workbooks. Um, I have all sorts of stuff. I have, uh, you know, just, you can you can browse there. I've got the lots of love. I've got the man, the astrology manualist readings. So, you know, do take time to check that out. Um, I want to thank everybody for subscribing and liking and sharing and everything you do to further my channel and my readings. It's so much appreciated. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of March, and I'll speak to you soon.